Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and I thought today I would bring you something completely different. Um, still in line with our junk journaling, but from a totally different angle. Now, as you can see, I've got an array of bits and bobs here that I'm going to be working with. I'm sure, like me, you are a member of very many social media groups or there's lots of people that you subscribe to on YouTube and we get ideas and inspiration. But I've been aware on a number of occasions that in some of the social media groups that I belong to, people are constantly saying things like, I really need to learn to make my own digitals. I wish I was a digital art worker or designer or whatever. Now, I do have a number of programs that are supposed to make it easy for me to create digital kits. I'll be perfectly honest with you, despite having spent many years in my mainstream job creating artwork for labels and advertising and things like that, I am struggling and finding it extremely difficult to put together a digital kit that I'm happy with. So on that basis, I thought I would bring you a very, what I consider to be very quick and easy way to make your own digital papers without any software or any magic. So bearing in mind that most of us work on a4 or letter paper I'm starting out with an A4 coffee dyed page okay and I'm basically going to make a collage I'm going to ensure that what I use is non-copyright which means I can then scan that into my computer and it is there to be used as a digital printout simple as that okay so I've got an A4 page, I've got this lovely old ledger, I've got a page from my Sears book, there's a bit of music paper, there's some old um, receipts. And these are prints of originals, but because they are so old, they're out of copyright. And I've just got two small pieces of file folder. And then in this tub here, I have lots of tea cards. Lots and lots of tea cards that I've collected. So I'm going to look at using some of those as well. Uh, and I'm just going to double check. I can't actually see a date on them, but I'm pretty sure they're out of copyright. If you're not sure, then obviously use it for your own purposes and don't sell it. Right, so the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to get my tear ruler and I'm going to pull off a large piece of this ledger paper. I don't want to cover the whole page because otherwise there's, you know, not much point in creating something. You might as well just use a whole page of this, which of course you could do. But I've decided that line there is what I want so slide my ruler up a little bit further and I'm going to tear that across there obviously this will be kept to use at a later date I am now going to offer this up I'm obviously going to take the top off so about there and then I'm going to tear it across here so it is on the edge of my paper okay and then obviously trim this side basically all we're doing is making collage but rather than making collage that we use we are then scanning it into use as a digital print okay I will, for those of you that for whatever reason don't want to actually do it, I will put it, I'll put the finished page into the group 
so that you can just print direct from there if you want to okay i am then going to tear i'm just judging where i want to tear about there okay because bear in mind that when we use this as a journal page whoops um we are going to be folding it in half okay so just line that up there right to the edge like so okay so this is the beginning of my light background i'm then going to put now i struggle with straight as you know so i'm probably going to put that on the angle there and i'm going to add one right on the edge there and then what i want to do here is i want to make at least one maybe two tags so i'm gonna I'm gonna, sorry just gonna trim that off there get my standard tag shape I'm not gonna make a whole fully decorated tag in the way that we normally do I just for this purpose want the shape so I'm gonna put that under there like that okay and then I've got this thinner one that I'm going to do the smaller corner cuts on and I am going to deliberately in a minute put this through my printer so you can see what you get okay so we've got that we've got that we've then got this one coming out there I think I'm going to have music across there like that so I'm just going to take off the excess from the edge I'm going to poke that through and I'm probably going to cut it off about there like that okay and then i want to get an appropriate one of these so i want it vintage looking uh, well obviously they are all vintage but like this one here with the tree i think that looks quite good so i'm going to put that one there um it's a squirrel fish because there's lots and lots of different subjects in here so you have to just obviously lots of them are nature and i might put that one sticking out of there like that okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to rough glue these i don't need to glue all of it i just need to rough glue it because we actually only want it to hold still while we photocopy it or scan it so put that in there I'm just dabbing really the corners okay Now obviously you can take all this off and stick them down individually if you want to. I'm just lifting up the edges because I know that I don't want to stick it all. So then I'm going to glue that one and that's obviously now sticking to the music paper. 
the music paper is now obviously sticking to the tag take out this card put it under there like that okay I'm gonna stick the music paper and the receipt to the ledger paper whoops that's moved now that down like that come round oh sorry it's all moving you see I'm being a bit rough handed with it that one sticks there that one sticks there and that one is going to stick there so now if I pick up this edge and put glue under there and I put a little bit more on there we can actually pick it up off of our A4 page. We don't need that anymore. Okay. And then I am just literally going to put this into my printer. Okay. So bear with me for a second. I'm going to lift it up. Okay. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put it into my printer and I'm gonna press print you'll hear it clicking through to start in a minute now I haven't done scan at the moment I've just done print but I will scan it in so that it's there in the memory to stay forever. Now, you could suggest that obviously we've just glued it. If we'd have glued it more securely, we could have used it as it were, as it already was. However, um, you do then obviously have quite a thick page to have in your journal. And we don't always want, there you go, we don't always want such thickness to our journals. We're always trying to get them thin. So here's the original, look, that we've just glued together. And there is our journal page. So if we assume this is a digital that we have just printed out, and we take off our white border, From each side and obviously you have got a plain white back but there's no reason you can't either coffee dye that or run the page through again on the reverse side with something else there we go so taking our white edges off we've got a nice decal edge as I say it's obviously white on the back but when we fold it in half to make our journal page look at that you have got a beautiful background journal page and obviously everybody's will be different because even if I gave you the same set of pieces I'm sure that you would put them together in a different way yeah so there you go that is the quick and easy way to make your very own digitals without any software or training Hope you found that useful, interesting. Have a great day. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye for now.